Hey, our friend Sarah and John, Minecraft Sword. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Now for this lesson, we're using our cool grid. Now you can download this grid from our website. So parents and adults, you can check the link below, but you can also just use any grid or just draw it with us. You don't have to use the grid if you don't want to. All right, you ready to start? Yes. We're also gonna do another cool trick. We're using markers to draw with, and you can just draw right on top of this grid using markers or even something completely different like crayons or even colored pencils. But we're gonna use marker paper on top of the grid so that when we take the paper off, all you see is the sword and not the grid. Yeah. So here's your page that you'll draw on, and here's my marker paper that I'll draw on. To keep the grid from sliding around and moving, we'll flip it over like this and we'll use a piece of tape. Yeah, go ahead, line it up. We can center it where we want on the paper like that. And then we'll put one piece of tape at the top. And uh, it got a little wrinkly, that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna flip it over and you can still see the grid underneath. Yeah. That's cool, right? Then we'll do the same to my paper. Use a piece of tape. We'll line it up and tape it down. Then flip it back over. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers and what sword are we going to make? Iron sword. Yeah, so we're just using gray, but you could also make a diamond sword or a stone sword or, ooh, a netherite. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be. So we have four grays, a light CG1, then we also have CG5, and then what are the two dark grays? CG7 and CG9. Yes, if you have the same brand, you can use those same colors or you can use a different brand or like we mentioned, color pencils or crayons. Then we also have a brown color for the handle. This is 103. We're gonna first start by drawing the outline of our sword and let's use CG9, our darkest gray. This even looks like a black. And we're gonna start down here at the bottom and we're gonna draw the very outside shape. So let's start at the corner, bottom left corner. Oh, this grid is also 16 squares by 16 squares. And our sword is 16 wide by 16 high. That's just a cool thing that Minecraft does with most all of their stuff. So you could even use this grid to make other things. Let's start down here in the bottom corner and we're gonna draw over three squares. So just a line on the bottom. Then we're gonna go up two squares. Now we're gonna make some steps. So we'll go over and up. Oh, that's okay, you went two up over here. You know what? You could also go up one more so that you have a three. I'm gonna do that too. Okay. Three up there. There's no mistakes. Now we're gonna go up two here. Then we're gonna go over one and up one. Yes, okay, then we're gonna do that again. Over, up. Now we're just gonna draw one over and down. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the right two spaces, two blocks, and down one block. Then we're gonna go over two blocks and up two blocks. These are also pixels too. We could call them pixels. Yeah. And let's go over and up a pixel. Then we're gonna go over and up again. Now we're gonna make the blade of our sword and we're gonna do a bunch of stairs. We're gonna make seven of them. So here's one, over and up, there's one. Then we're gonna do that six more times, two, three, four. Do you have four? One, two, three, four. Nice, okay. Then we're gonna do five, six, seven. And if we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. Okay, then we're gonna draw the end of our sword and it's gonna connect to the very edge if we did all of the right steps it should end right here on the border. Then we're gonna go all the way up to the corner and that should be one, two, three blocks. Then we're gonna do three blocks going across the top. And then let's come down one block. 
and we're going to repeat the seven steps but going down this way to finish the other side of the blade. So here's one, then two, I'm going to go a little faster, three, four, five, six, and one more, seven. So two more. You did it. Okay, now let's draw one going to the left. Then we're going to make a step going up to the left. So up and over. Then we're going to go up one, over two, down two, and now we're going to go in one. It's kind of repeating the same down here. We're going to go down two. And then in one, or to the right. And then we're going to come down again. Now we're going to make the handle. So we'll do one stair and two stairs. And then the very last line will connect to the bottom of the handle. There's the outline of our sword. Good job. Thank you. Now we're going to draw all of the pixels on the inside and color it. I'm switching to the big end though, since we're coloring. And we're going to color the bottom three blocks. So I'm going to draw a line right here with the end of the, or the sharp part. And then we'll color in these three blocks. Next, let's go up one block and color that one in. So we should have a backwards letter L, or a letter L that is laying down. <laughs> now we're, we're going to draw two pixels on the handle. Right here is one, and then we're going to go up and over for another one. And this is actually brown, so we'll color over it with the brown, but these are really dark pixels. Then let's draw another pixel right here, and color that one in. Next, we'll add two pixels here. And oh, let's also go over and up. So we're going to color in these two pixels. Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's OK. You went all the way over, but you can just go up there. Oh, it gets a little confusing, doesn't it? Yeah. You also put your drawing up right next to the screen and make sure that your pixels look the same as ours. But it's okay if it doesn't look the same as ours. <laughs> yeah, that's okay too. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Then right here, we'll add a pixel and color that one in. Then we'll draw another diagonal pixel. We're going to color all of the pixels going up the side of the blade. So I'm going to draw stairs that match all the way up. And then I'm going to color these in too. That's okay. Good job. I'm going to do that also. We'll go up two and go across to the other side. And let's just color it in. This is a slightly lighter gray, but we're just, we'll just use this dark gray. Next, let's make one more pixel with the dark gray. We'll do it right here. See how it comes in? We're going to draw it right below it and then color in that square. Now we're ready to switch to our lighter gray CG7. It's still really dark, but it's lighter than the CG9. And we'll start down here at the handle. Oh, you need to color these in too. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that. Now we're ready to switch to that lighter gray CG7. And we'll start down here at the bottom of our handle. And we're going to draw up, over, and then up again. And then we'll color in these three squares. Oh, these are, this is pretty much the same color, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe we need to switch. Oh, when it dries, it gets a little lighter. That's okay. Let's stay with it. Now let's jump up here to this right where it comes in here. And we're going to add a pixel at the top of the handle. Then we're going to draw up two pixels 
here and color those in. Now let's draw up one and over and we'll color these three pixels in. And then right here, let's color in this stair. Next, let's color in the other side of our blade. So we'll start here and we're gonna draw stairs going all the way up to the tip of the blade. All the way up like that. And then we'll color in these diagonal blocks. The last blocks we'll use with CG7 is this one right here. Color that one in. And then right here, we're gonna color in these two. And at the end of these two, we're gonna go up one. Now we're ready to switch to our medium gray CG5. And we'll color in this middle pixel on the handle. Then we'll color in this pixel. And let's do the blocks all the way. So we'll just add a line right here. And then we're gonna color in these four blocks. Oh, we could also, let's add one more right in the middle of the blade. Then on the handle, this, is, this will be brown, but let's color this in because it's a darker brown. We're gonna add the two on the outside of the handle. Now we're gonna to switch to 103 brown. And the nice thing I like about using our alcohol-based markers is we can color over the markers we've already put down. So let's do these first two right here. Look at that, isn't that cool? Yeah. The same brown, but it looks a little darker because we layered it on top of the dark gray or the medium gray. So we got these two pixels. Now let's do these three pixels. We'll even go over the really dark gray. And then on the next column, we're gonna just color two pixels. The last color we're using is CG1, a really light gray, and we'll color in the blade. We're gonna color this first block here. Then we're gonna color in three blocks on the next column. And we're gonna do one more column of three blocks. This next column, we'll just do two. So the top one will stay white. Then we're gonna do two again. And the next two columns, we're gonna do the same thing, two pixels. So the top one is white. And then this very last column, we'll just color in this center pixel. Oh, I think I'm one behind you. Oh, that's okay. Yep, and then the center one. Now, one last thing we'll do to finish our sword is color in the center pixel down the blade. So we'll start here, and then we'll do it again on the next diagonal pixel. I love that we're using the same gray, but because we're layering it, it's a little darker. Yeah. And we're gonna do this all the way up to that last center pixel. How many more do you have? Two more. Two more. Austin, you did it. Good job, man. It looks really cool. Except let's flip over our paper and we'll take off the grid. Then when we flip our paper back over, look at that. It, so turned, cool. it turned out awesome. It looks really cool. And I love that the grid isn't there anymore. Yeah, you could even cut this out. It would look really cool. Yeah, oh, it would. It would look awesome. You could also do this on cardboard. You could glue it to some cardboard and then cut it out and it would be kind of stiff so that you could use it as an actual sword. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing a Minecraft sword with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.